Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back today with Roxy's Weekly Challenge. This is the journal that I put all the projects in for the challenge and it's week 41, scrap busting scrapbook paper and we are going to make a flip pocket. Yeah, so we'll just put the journal aside for the moment. So scrap busting scrapbook paper. Um, I have this modern style of scrapbook paper and I'm going to use this, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, so the first thing we have to do, let's do this one first, is do the two, do the flip and the pocket. So um, I'm going to use this side. I'm decided to use this modern paper see you have to do it this way because this has got to be the right way up even although we're going to cover most of it um, I still want the plants to be the right way up and then we're going to fold that one down so this was 12 by 12 and I've just cut a strip well yes I cut the strip just so that it would fit into the journal and leave a little space on either side because what's going to happen is we will be adding this like that to the page so that you have a pocket here and it still flips up yeah so that's how that's going to work and the flip becomes a pocket so we're going to just put a little notch using a circle punch in that so that we know that's an up pocket and then this one we will do some fancy punching yeah so let's just turn it round so that we can get to the middle of the markings on the punch and then just move it along let's open it up and make life easier for ourselves there and there yeah now I think I am going to add a little bit of washi where that punched half flower is because it just disappears into the background there. Um, so let's just grab a washi and go behind where that's going to be out there and then it shows up better I think so let's grab a little old plastic card and take that off and take it off this side too there we are and then we can see the flowers that looks better. Yeah. So, a little bit of decoration. Let's see what we've got. We have a little bundle here of bits and bobs. And I was thinking we will maybe mix and match a little bit of vintage looking um, vintage looking bits maybe now where did the sticker go that I had do you know how can things go missing just to let till I make sure it's not stuck to my sleeves <laughs> how can things go it was a floral sticker Anyway, it's gone. It's gone. Yep. No. Oh. Is it on the floor? No. Right, we'll 
just need to dig another one out of the box or maybe we'll just do do it as far as the the sticker goes. Maybe we won't put a floral sticker on this one. So a little bit of collage up there, I think, and then a little bit of collage on the pocket. Yeah, and then that's for the back to turn the back into a writing spot. So this is a sticker. So I'll just quickly get the back off that and put it about there. Just use my glue stick to put this it on the front there. Now is this a sticker? Don't think it is. So it's good to be using up some of the more modern scrapbook paper that I have in my stash stash and mix it in with yeah that's good there had it the other way around I think but I think I quite like that long ticket on the top um, yeah mix and match older style although none of this is original it's four vintage these tickets and whatnot these little bits of ephemera but nothing wrong with full vintage mixed with modern, I think. That says, and then we will put this on the back so that we have a little writing spot. And yes, that's fine on the back there. I got a bit confused here with my ups and downs and comings and goings. Right, so now we just need to stick those pockets down at the edge. So a little bit along the edge there. And then, now that's the flip. So... What are we sticking down there? Wait till I think about this <laughs> before I get confused because that's to flip on there like that. So we're really just going to stick that to the page so that it's a pocket up. So I'm not sticking the back at all at the moment. And then it flips up and we've got her, that's it. It flips up and the plants are the right way around and we've got our little journaling spot there. So, yeah. That was all a wee bit confusing. <laughs> I hope you're still with me. Right, I've got some um, journaling cards here. I'll pick one for the, for the middle. Uh, for this pocket, not for the middle. There. That slides in there rather neatly. I've got a little bit of washi that's annoying me here. There we are. Yeah. So, I've got a pocket with a nice punched edge. A little bit of collage, three things at the back there, and then that'll go in, and then that'll become a pocket, and then that's the flip up. Yeah, yes, happy with that. We'll leave that one aside. And let's do one more, or maybe two more. So now we need to decide which way. <coughs> So if we do that and that, 
yeah, then the mushrooms are the right way up. So I'm turning over a longer bit now so that I've got all the mushrooms because I don't want, if I turned it over there, I would have an odd wee bit of mushroom and we'll make this pocket slightly smaller. So we've adjusted the size a little bit. We've made a small pocket in the front this time and a large. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll make this a side pocket. That's a better idea for that one. A side pocket for that one. So that's fine. And let's punch the front. This time I've got this punch. Which just punches um, a scalloped edge. Well, all these punches from my card making days. I wonder where that flower sticker went. Oh, I don't know. I think there must be pixies or else. It was a black and white sticker like that. Must be pixies or else. Stealing things. <laughs> Right, here's a little bundle for this one. So kind of much the same. We've got a circle. We don't need the bit of washi this time because there's a nice contrast and we can see the pocket this time, the scalloped edge. I've got some mushrooms which seem to be all the rage just now and a little label which I think Maybe there, I think that's probably what I want, like that. And then these little ones for the front there, just and no more, I think. Yeah, and then that one for the back for a little bit journaling spot. And I'm not sure now whether I want a black and white flower on. We'll see. Right, that's not a sticker. We will need to be getting the, the new glue stick out. I think we're, we're on our last legs with this one. Last legs, is that, is that a saying that's all over the world or is that just a, a British one? Last legs, it's on its last legs, I don't know. I don't know if I've heard any of my American YouTubers saying that. <laughs> there we are, that's as straight as it'll ever be. And put this on the back. We'll put it on upside down so that it's the right way up when we flip it. Don't think I did that with the other one, but that doesn't matter. Yep. It's not quite straight. Right. Now, I think that will just fit on there and no more. Maybe I'm going to take off a little bit. That's better. Right, let's see. And dream. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. So you need to just stick this to fact I'm going to use my three in one. better because I don't think this is sticking down very well. There. And let's choose a card for the pocket. Now, um, do you know what I think I will put it on? And that one's got a side pocket once we've put it into the journal and it flips up and we've got a little bright spot. I like the colours of this one. The black and the pink with the gold matches the beigey colours of the card, I think. The browny beigey colours of the dream. And yeah. Well, we do one more because I've got one ready. So this one was one that I just started just to make sure that I could work out my my comings and goings with the folds and I put the bit of washi because that didn't show up very well. So I've got my bits here for this one. And again I'm quite liking the circles at the top bit. And Got a little tickety. I was going to say a tickety boo, a little tickety thing there, and then yeah, and then this and this for the bottom, and that for the back. Sorted. Right now, is this is one a sticker. I think this might be. Nope. Oh, that's us down to the last. The last project that this glue stick will see. <laughs> right about there. This one definitely needs the flower sticker. If it's going to play. There we are. There is definitely a little knack and a little trick to doing these, these um, washi stickers with the backings. That's for sure. So just upside down. Right. I 
and then this on the front and then we'll choose one for the book maybe just maybe we'll get And then we'll use this for these side bits. Okay, this can go in the bin. Right, let's choose, I'm wondering if I should put a wee bit of twine or something on this. That's quite nice because it matches this, um, this rose, doesn't it? I quite like that. I never thought I would pick that one, but there you go. Right. So we have three. One for the book and two for the box. Right, so there's this one. And then there's this one. I quite like how that matches that. And the black and white matches what's underneath there. So I'm quite liking that one. And then there is this one. And this one has got the mushrooms with the side pocket. Nope, I like this one. I think it's going to be this one. But I'm just going to leave it there just now because I want to take my photograph of the three projects um, before I stick anything in the book because I might not be able to get that in the, the photograph for the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.